Hey there, beginning farmer friends. We are going to do it today. We are going to attempt to do it is what I was meaning to say. By the way, if you like this video and at any time you are watching it and you think, hey, I'm really thankful that Ethan's putting out this content. I like this beginning farmer stuff. Like, subscribe, put a comment down below, all of that good stuff. But today is going to be a tutorial slash non-tutorial of how to put tire chains on the tractor using a bottle jack to jack up one side of the tractor at a time so that you can then wrap said tire chains around tractor. The first thing that we have to figure out though is how we are going to get this bottle jack to jack up this tractor. I assume that the axle is the best place to jack it up from. This jack goes 18 inches up. I don't know if you can tell, but there is much more than 18 inches to go up there. I've got one idea right now. Let's go look at it and see if it is plausible, feasible, whateverable. One idea would be to use like six by six cribbing small six by six chunks to go up and up and up but you know I don't want to just put them on edge and then stack it because that seems kind of wobbly so I'd want to build like a log cabin going up. The other idea I have is to take the anvil stump, pull the anvil off, take the stump over there, it's close by, put some boards on top of the stump to keep from marring any of the top of the stump or anything like that and then hopefully being able to jack the tractor up up up. Before I do that though, I think we're going to want to move the tractor ahead about a foot or so. That's not a big deal. I've got the tractor plugged in. That guy on the ATM always used to say I love it when a plan comes together. This is not a time where I feel like a plan is coming together. I just feel like we're going to attempt something and maybe it'll work. I thought it might be a good idea to have the chains over here before I started going crazy and uh, jacking the tractor up. So somewhere under this snow are two chains or a set of chains. There they are for this beautiful 4010. Now, I completely have no idea what I am doing. I've got the stump underneath, I've got the jack underneath. Believe it or not, the stump is almost a little too tall. I could barely get the jack under there. My hope is that once I get the chains on, that'll give me a little more space when I go to bring the jack down. If not, I'll slide a board underneath the tractor tire. That way, when I let the jack down, I'll have more space. I guess what I think my next step is, is I'm gonna put the chains, start putting them over the top of the tire. That way, when I get it jacked up, I've got something started already because I don't really have a jack stand or any other blocks that I can put under. I'm kind of trusting the jack on this one, so. All you nervous Nellies out there, you might want to close your eyes. All right, I feel like I need to take the whole chain that way a little bit so that I'm not having to lift up so much weight because I barely have the chain flipped over on the back side. This is about the only part that I know what I'm doing on. I know how to work a bottle jack. Other than that, this is all, I don't even know, not even off the top of my head. It's a little scary. I've got the tire completely off the ground. I think I'm going to slide the chain under and then try to start hooking it up. I have no idea. Yeah, that's not tight enough. It appears that these are not the exact right size chain for this tractor. They just have been added on to enough there to make it fit for this tractor. So we'll see how, uh, how tight I can get it, I guess. I feel like I'm close. Now on all my other tractor tire chains, I do have chains for the 4430. This kind of is supposed to go through the link, not just hooked around the link like I have it. I don't know if I can get away with this if I wire it down. We'll try two things and then if it doesn't work, we'll go with this. 
Hey Siri. Calling mobile. Hey, I'm going to send you a picture of the tire chains, the hook, and you tell me what I need to do. When all else fail, call people smarter than you. It really is the smartest thing to do. Hook in the link, you say? So that it comes up through the link. I might not be able to get it as tight then. That It's really tight there. Okay, I'll try that. Thanks, bye. Through the link is better than the way I've got it, but since I'm not like going anywhere crazy, I'm just driving around the farm, this will probably work. We'll try it for a second. See if I can get it through the link. If I can, we'll do it. If I can't, maybe it's just the way that I put it on, but that way doesn't seem as solid in there as the other way. I think I'm gonna put it the way that I had it. Maybe my cousin will be up here sometime and he can look at it, tell me what to do differently. I'm gonna put it the way I had it though, wrap some wire around it, kind of keep it all together and hopefully we're good. All right, that's tire number one. One more tire to go and we should be able to go wherever we wanna go and do whatever we wanna do, within reason of course. I'm gonna put this one on a time lapse though, so it is not as embarrassingly slow. See there, that did not go horribly and it only took like eight seconds to do that this time. Or like five minutes, I don't know. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. There's two things that I want to share though. One, this brand new bottle jack of mine, it won't go down. I can push it down and then it pops back up like this. Is it broken? Is it because it's cold? Put down in the comments what's wrong with my brand new bottle jack. Do I need to take it back? And number two, this side is just like really tight. The other side, I don't know if it's just because of the way the chains landed on the ribs but it's not quite as tight as the other side. It's still definitely way tighter than I have ever gotten them when I've done the drive over method. I think it's just because you can get these D's or whatever these crosses are here. You can just get them lined up perfectly. So we've got them on. There's a couple places that I want to snow plow still. Let's go do that. We'll feed the cows. We'll run these chains through their paces and see how they do in kind of a sloppy snow right now. It's 32 degrees today, sun's beating down. We're getting a little sloppy on top. We plowed snow and moved snow for about 20, 25 minutes. Let's see how we did. It's quite a bit more loose than it was, but when I consider that I don't have any straps on it or any bungee cords on it, I guess I should say, this is still way better than I typically have it. If I put some bungee cords on this, there would be no movement at all. Basically, it just loosens up as you drive around and the chains dip in and around. I think if I jacked it up again, I might be able to get it a little bit tighter, but I'm pleased with the way it is. We've got the snow moved everywhere that I wanted to get snow moved. So now we're gonna go get some hay, take it into the cows. So far the hay supply is holding up pretty well. I do have 17 bales over on another farm that if worse comes to worse at the end of the season, the winter season that is, I could go and get those or we could sell those if we need to and I could buy some better quality hay because they're not the highest quality of hay. But the cattle seem to be doing well on what we have so far. We've had some cold, we've had some muddy, we've had some wet. They look good so far. So I'm pretty happy with the quality of hay that we have this year. And I know that it's only gonna get better next year because of all the alfalfa seeding that we did last year. We're gonna have a good source of high quality hay. If I had a little more pasture available to me, man, I would really like to grow the cattle herd, but it's not an option right now. Sometimes you just have to improvise a little bit. I had a little bit of snow that I wanted to get away. I didn't have the bucket on, of course, because I had just moved the hay in, so I just used the bale spear. That makes it easier to open and close the gate next time I need to get in. There will be a next time, and hopefully there'll still be some snow because the kids are kind of enjoying the snow, and since it's here and I've got the chains on, I don't necessarily want to get rid of it yet. I can enjoy it and I can enjoy watching the kids enjoy it. So stick around snow, although it is supposed to be 37 degrees for a few days this week. 
That's gonna make it go away pretty fast if the sun's out. As far as the Sunday afternoon goes, today was pretty productive. I got the chains on the tractor, which for me is a huge win. To be completely honest, I was a little bit worried about it because every other time I've put the chains on the tractor, it's been an ordeal and not gone as well as I've wanted it to go. Today went about as good as it's ever gone. They seem like they're on there pretty good, so that's a very good thing to have done. It'll make life a lot easier, especially as it looks like we're gonna be in a freeze and thaw cycle for a little bit with snow and slush and mud and ice and everything that goes along with it. I also got to add to the snow pile a little bit for the kids, so that's fun for them at least. Getting the hay in for the cattle, that was a big win for me as well. I wasn't sure how I would do it if I hadn't got those chains on, so they're happy. They got fresh hay for the day. They were going to run out tomorrow, so that is a good thing for them. All in all, it was a pretty successful day. The only thing that I can think of that I need to do before I go inside right now is I need to plug in my truck because... It's gonna be like 37 degrees tomorrow. There's no way that thing will start. Well, we've done it again. We've come to the end of another video. I hope you are having a great day wherever you are preparing for the week ahead. We have a busy week ahead for us. It is the beginning of our CSA season. We've got a lot of customers that stuck with us and are keeping up at it. And we've got some new customers coming on as well. So super excited about that. I've got to grind some pig feed this week, I know. All sorts of things going on along the farm and hopefully some work on the shelves in the shed. Have a great day, morning, evening, night. You know the drill.